Hey, uh, it's me, Colleen. Uh, gosh, I, uh, I can't believe uh, my mom's making you work so late. Um, call me Damon, okay? Um, Damon, uh, I can't wait to see you. I, I have to go, okay? Excuse me, what the hell are you doing? This is cool. Pretty gnarly out there. Lord, what brings you out in this mess? Cut that punk ash. Break into my house. Oh, you're kidding. Well, well, you have. Beer. Listen, uh, it's like I'm a glad. It's Morgan here. Well, closing. What can I say? I'm glad you came in anyway. I want to thank you. For what? For representing Marissa in the custody case. That's the least I can do after Junior stole her lawyer. Well, no, that's not true. You could have found her another lawyer. <clears throat> that's what we do. It is. To me. And to Marissa, so... Thank you. And this is the part where you say, You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you see? Come on. That wasn't so hard now, was it? So how are the kids weathering the storm, huh? Sound asleep unless Erica woke them up. Erica's back? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good to see, see you. you. Let me look at you. Oh, just as beautiful as ever. And you. Welcome home. Oh, welcome home. Oh, it's been just so long. Way too long. Oh, and my two girls in the same town, under the same roof, at the same time. I love this. I could get so used to this. Where is Uncle Jack? Ah, uh, he had to go see Greenlee. Okay, so you both know what's going on then. I'm just so relieved that we're not having this reunion in a prison visiting room. Yeah, well, community service isn't so bad. I get to wear this really nifty shirt, and I've learned all sorts of wonderful cleaning techniques, yes. Oh, wonderful. You're mad. I'm worried. Risking your freedom, your, your family, for Greenlee? Mom, I did it for Ryan. They're trying to pin David's murder on him. No, Jesse arrested him first. I see. And where is Zach in all this? Well, Zach's uh, about as happy as you are at the moment. Uh-huh. And where is he? Is he here too? No. But you are going to be able to work things out. What? I have to give Zach his space. Kendall, have you learned nothing from me? Silence. Never a good thing. I was just thinking how to best say this. That you think I deserve everything I'm getting? That I brought this on myself? I mean, this is why I didn't call. If it wasn't for David Hayward, you wouldn't be here. He brought you back to life. He brought you back to us. And I get that you would be grateful. I was more than grateful. I loved him. I just kept waiting for you to wake up and open your eyes to see David for what he really is. Was. But you didn't. Or maybe you couldn't. But then when you took his side after what he did to Erica's plane... I know. No, you don't. So just hear me out. I should have been there for you. But I wasn't. But I'm here now. You're here. That's no. right. To help. To represent you. Be your lawyer, if you'll have me. And to be your father. Aren't you going to ask? Ask what? If I killed David. I don't have to ask you that. My daughter's no murderer. I'm sorry, Annie. No, you're not. Look at me. Annie, look at me. I never meant to hurt you. Hurt me? No, J.R., you broke me. I was trying to break Scott. But taking everything that belonged to me. 
My father's respect, my family company. You. Stop pretending like I matter to you. You do matter. It's enough, me. okay? Enough! You got what you wanted, so just leave what, me alone! What, what, what I want? What, what is that, some sort of joke? That's a joke, right? What I want, what I've always wanted is you. No. That's why, that's why all this got so crazy. That's why I did what I did. Cousin, you married my cousin? You practically killed me, Annie. That's why I lost it. I, I wanted to get back at everyone. I wanted to get back at Scott for taking you away from me. And you for turning your back on us. There is no us. There could be an us. If you would just give us a chance to stop fighting it. I can't. Yes, you can. You want to be seen. I'm looking right at you. I am looking right at you. A beautiful woman. Strong. Who cannot be broken. I just can't believe that you let Greenlee get to you again. Greenlee and I are, we're in a better place now. Oh, really? You are? Okay. Well, just wait till Greenlee makes your plane fall out of the sky. She swears she had nothing to do with that. That was David's idea. And you have to admit, it does sound more like him. So Greenlee was just his accomplice after the fact. You're okay with that? Greenlee was being manipulated. Are you kidding? Greenlee wasn't manipulated. Nobody manipulates Greenlee. Greenlee brought out the worst in David. I know, because I almost died as a result. <sighs> I'm just so glad that she's finally paying for her crimes. Well, one of them at least. Mom, Greenlee did not kill David. Kendall, I know that you believe that. And I think Jack does too. But he's blinded by his love for his daughter. What's your excuse? You know what? I think I should go. I think you two probably want to catch up anyway, so I'm going to let you guys no, catch up. No, honey, please don't go, please. I just... I'm just concerned about you and Zach. I mean, the boys. I, I know. I know you are. Honey, if there is one thing that I've learned in this time away, it's that family is what's most important. Don't let anyone, anyone come between you. Especially not Greenlee. I'm glad you're home. Well, not exactly the reunion I had hoped for. Kendall's having a tough time. But I want to talk about you. I want to know, how are you? Me? I am great. And Reese? Uh, she's great, too. And, and, and is she here? Uh, no, I told you she's, she's held up because of work. But things are okay between you and Reese, aren't they? Yeah. Mom, they're fine. Um, I am gonna go check on the kids. So, did, um... <coughs> did Erica seem happy to see you? She got on my case about losing Uncle Pete's company. Can't say I blame her. Wow. <laughs> That's mighty big of you. So did she give you the details of the trip? Nope. And you didn't want to know all, all the details, huh? Is this a bar or a beauty parlor? <sighs> okay, honestly... I think Erica hurt you when she left. Oh, boy. I do. And, Caleb, as your friend, I just want to make sure that you're okay. You know, if getting hit over the head didn't take me out, I don't think there's anything that Erica can do. 
glad to hear that. You gonna call her? You know, this is starting to eat into your tip. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. No more questions. Thank you. Did she and Jackson have a good time? Back in the rain. <laughs> if you don't mind, Greeny, I'd like to jump right in here. Sure. So, the night David collapsed at the club, had you seen him, talked to him? We fought, argued, I guess is a better word. David had just found out that I was working with Ryan. Working with Ryan on what? To get out from under David's blackmail. Hayward was blackmailing you. To stay married to him. <laughs> with what? Was he blackmailing you? Fake evidence. He was framing me for Erica's plane crash. <gasps> Dear God. Well, I finally told Ryan, but then David found out and... And you argued. He was hurt. <laughs> the next time I saw him, he was... I feel so guilty. Oh, don't, don't. Haver was a twisted, sick man, no, he Creamy. Loved he, me. he was incapable of love. No, he was. I just couldn't love him back. Not in the way that he needed me to. Was that because of Ryan? My husband just died. Ryan is with Madison now, and I don't even have time to think about that. I have to concentrate on this. Murder charges. Not for long. Hey. Hey, look at me. You are innocent. I'm going to prove it. We do have a front door, you know. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt the party downstairs. Well, there's no cars out there, so I'm pretty sure the party's a bust. So you weren't texting me to come over. What's up? I know what you did. Last summer, or... No. Spying on Caleb Cooney, or Cortland, or whatever his name is. <laughs> You're the guy who knocked him out. Asher, you hit a guy over the head. For you. <laughs> I, I mean, not you, you, but the Chandlers. Caleb's out to screw with your family. Yeah, because he wants his company back. But you don't know how far he'll go to get it. I mean, everyone thinks Caleb's this innocent mountain dude, but I'm telling you, he's not. All right, you want to know the real reason I came in through the window? Yes. Okay. Caleb was chasing me down. The guy's crazy. I thought it'd be easier to shake him if I blew through the woods and climbed up the back. Well, what would he have done to you if he caught up to you? Who knows? I'm just glad I didn't wait to find out. Probably a good idea if I stay here tonight. Who knows if he's still out there waiting for me. Excuse me? What are you doing? Um, what does it look like I'm doing? Well, it looks like you're taking off your clothes. Uh, smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> 